full time MMA? MMA. Nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. <laughs> Back to the Daily Grind, thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is, it's full time. MMA. Yo, I gotta admit man, some of these MMA managers, these dudes are characters. I really, there's a couple dudes that like they come out and they be speaking out. I like what they gotta say. And especially this dude right here, he brings the motherfucking comedy, I promise. I think his name is like Ali Abdelaziz, I don't know his name really, but um, he um, He's Khabib Nurmagomedov's manager and Fabricio Verdum's manager. You know Tony Ferguson has had a, has had beef with Khabib, and he's also had his recent spat with Fabricio Verdum. Well, also, both of those guys have the same manager, so of course Tony Ferguson and him have had gotten to it in the past. I mean, K K Tony Ferguson's history with Khabib Nurmagomedov pulling out of his interim title fight, you know, so Khabib... That, that pissed Tony Ferguson off. Khabib wasn't able to fight now, so now he's fighting Kevin Lee. I mean, Fabricio Verdum said he almost went pride rules at the UFC 216 lunch scrum on him whenever, you know, Tony Ferguson tried to say, hey, hold on, I'm talking. Hey, motherfucker, kick that in the lightweight division. Stood up on him. Said he almost went pride rules, but it got separated. And the fact that Fabricio Verdum did not go pride rules on Tony Ferguson, did not remind him that he's a lightweight and Fabricio's a heavyweight. Tony Ferguson's manager is coming out and saying he's proud of Fabricio. He said, I'm proud Fabricio didn't fold Tony Ferguson's ass in half like a lawn chair or a wet paper towel. Okay, he didn't say lawn chair or wet paper towel, but he did say he's proud that Fabricio didn't fold Tony Ferguson. I want to read his, his whole quote just because I like this dude. And, it, uh, and it, the shit he says is funny. He said, in a way, honestly, I'm so proud of Fabricio Verdum not to fold Tony Ferguson's ass and beat his ass. And the reason why he didn't do that is probably because he didn't want to lose the UFC main event at 216, and he respects Chris Costello. That's what he told me. But on a normal day, Fabricio Verdum would have beat his ass. And hey, Fabricio Verdum, he, he's a firecracker, man. Fabricio Verdum don't fuck around. And, and both of the, and he's like he said, at first I thought he was saying that he didn't want to lose the main event. Like, he, I was like, thinking he's not the main event. But he meant because Fabricio Verdum and Tony Ferguson both are fighting tonight in a matter of hours on UFC 216. And if they would have got into it, man, UFC 216 would have been demolished. Imagine Fabricio and Tony Ferguson getting pulled out of their fights. It would have been Demetrius Johnson headlining with no heavyweight on the card as far as the pay-per-view. Like, Oh, that would have been fucking nuts. That would have been the MMA gods really wreaking havoc down on Demetrius Johnson. But with all that fucking jazz aside, like I said, UFC 216 is in a matter of hours. Tony Ferguson versus Kevin Lee for the interim lightweight title. Demetrius Johnson's looking to break UFC title history. Title he defending his title versus Ray Borg, trying to break Anderson Silva's record for title defenses in the UFC. We've also got Fabricio Verdum himself coming through, looking to take out all of his fucking ang pent up anger and everything out on the fucking black beast swiggity swinging bang Derek lewis who's unretired he feels like he's got the break he needed uh but he did say his head was not in the game due to the vegas shootings but hopefully man he can fucking get get it together and he don't he don't fuck around and get knocked out or something or get fucked up out here with his head not in the game because mma fighting that's definitely not where you want to be in that cage when your head's not in the game so it's going to be a tough battle for Derek Lewis. I'm rooting for him, one of my favorite fighters, but Fabricio Verdun is one of my favorite fighters too, so I'm rooting for him. Whoever wins, wins, and whoever loses, loses. Either way, I'm going to be a fan of both guys afterward. We've also got Evan Dunham versus Benil Darius, like rank number 12th um, lightweight versus rank number 14 lightweight. And then also on the card, we've got two chicks, uh, Paige Van Zandt versus Jessica. I got pulled off, so they got replaced with another fight. I don't, can't remember their names off the top of my head, but either way, you get the fucking point. Hey, you guys, this is what I'm going to do. I want to say this right here because this might be my last video until I get everything set up. I'm going to what my friends order in the pay-per-view, so me and the microwave might be going to his house. What I'm going to do is, like, set up a live stream off the phone. I mean, it's not going to be the best because it's just going to be, I'm going to have a setup pointed at all of us, so you can sync it up if you want. It's going to be kind of like a fight companion, 
but it's probably it's not going to be the best quality because I'm just going to be doing off of a phone aiming it at where we're all around where we're sitting so you're going to see our reactions to the fights and what we're saying during the fights and shit like that um but it, I, I don't know how good it's going to be or what, what the fuck ever but if you want to come through check it out it's going to be fucking I don't know I've never did it before fuck it it is what it is I'm trying to set it up um, so whenever the fights come on, I'll probably start, that'll probably come on in about two hours. I'm going to be streaming it from Full Time MMA 2. So, man, I've never did it before. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. We're going to have a little, little bit of drinks probably. I don't know what, what all we're going to be doing, but it's going to be fucking fun. Great night of fights ahead of us. Whew, it is what it is. And also, I'm going to do the live stream tomorrow. That actual live stream tomorrow, uh, on just personal live stream. We voted, I seen you guys in the comments, voted on fucking tomorrow, that's what we're doing. So Sunday, I don't know the time yet, but I'm going to do some videos tomorrow too, so I'll say it then. So look forward to that. Uh, I don't know how the fucking fight companion or whatever the fuck you want to call it's going to go, but it should be fun. It is what it, I might say some crazy shit on there, because when I'm watching the fights, I'm into it, I'm having fun. So, I don't know, it is what it is. Let the know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. I'm out. The dudes hating on the full-time family are the type of dudes that send another Facebook friend request after the first one gets declined. <laughs> Bye, Felicia.